Hello, today I'm going to talk about the Wikimedia ecosystem and how it relates to science for the public good. The structure of the talk is as follows. I will uh, first introduce the Wikimedia ecosystem uh, and highlight differences between different components and I'll highlight commonalities. Then I'll look at how they relate to science for the public good in two ways. First, providing information about science for the public good and second, kind of contributing and serving as an example for science uh, for the public good. Then I'll zoom in on one of them, Wikidata, which is uh, an open pla data platform. I will show how Wikidata can be used to explore science for the public good. And um, I'm also um, then looking at how virtual reality uh, can help explore Wikidata. So first, the overview of the Wikimedia project. Uh, they're here arranged by their respective logo in a clockwise fashion and listed from top to bottom. Some of them, like Wikipedia, exist as multiple sites that are each monolingual, but as a set, they cover multiple languages. Some of the other uh, sites, like Wikidata, are multilingual in and of themselves, so uh, multiple languages on the same platform. They're all um, together forming a community of a thousand wikis, each of which has the, its own uh, set of contributors and uh, rules and um, essentially the kind of information is sorted by information channel. Together, um, the, the common themes uh, that help hold them together are that the content is open, that the uh, infrastructure is based on open source software and that the communities are open to for anyone to participate and also open to different kinds of contributions. Um, here I would also like to discuss in the end to what extent we can uh, bridge uh, this and collaborate with the VR and AR communities. Um, in each of these information channels you can find information that's relevant to science for the public good Christian will highlight this on the example of Wikipedia, so I'll not uh, provide too much detail. Just mention that there is uh, a range of sub-communities within the Wikimedia community that deals with specific aspects of this. So for instance, there is a group called Wikimedians for Sustainable Development, there's Wikimedia Medicine, and there are lots of others that deal with specific kinds of information. Here, um, we are uh, looking at some examples in orange where the Wikimedia ecosystem or some part of it has reg been regarded as a public good and here in this case uh, it received a, a science prize for this uh, reason and here in this case it served as the subject of a uh, research experiment. Um, in all of this page here the Wikimedia component is highlighted in green and the science for the public good component is highlighted in yellow and you see there are different uh, kinds of interactions um, that cover all sorts of uh, domains uh, from the pandemic of via open science and citation networks to sustainability, climate uh, knowledge, citizen science, data collaborations and also cultural sector via galleries, libraries, archives and museums. Now Wikidata has um, open data in multiple languages. Uh, together it's more than 1 billion statements, about more than 100 uh, million entries. And uh, yeah, so it helps make data more findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And how does it look like? Well, here's a mobile view of an example page, Cochlear Implant. You see, uh, we have an identifier, we have some label in English, we have some information in other languages. Um, and then we have structured information as to how a Cochlear Implant relates to other concepts. We have some images and we also have a number of identifiers that basically link this information to information available elsewhere on the web. Scolia is a Wikidata front-end that allows to visualize information contained in uh, Wikidata and it also makes use to some extent of Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons, uh, the media repository. And so uh, Scolia provides uh, ways to profile uh, the scholarly subset of Wikidata. So here you see a profile for the topic of biodiversity loss, or here you see a profile for the work of a particular um, publication uh, on immersive analytics. Um, in terms of um, 
yeah, visualizations. There is um, a need for lots of visualizations in order to explore um, and improve and further expand and also maintain uh, the data in Wikidata. And while there are already quite a few visualizations, we would welcome collaborations on more of them, and that would include immersive ones. With that, I would like to thank you, and I'm looking forward to um, to further interaction and to the discussion. Thank you very much.